I don't know how many of you guys, uh, you know, been following the, the news and especially the Mega Millions. Uh, uh, that's a, a lottery, multi-state lottery that's out there. Uh, but this past uh, Friday, the Mega Million jackpot was up to $350 million. And did you go out there and buy some tickets yourself? Uh, that's the question. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, you know, guys, people buy those tickets and hope that they're going to hit a jackpot. Uh, they buy them with all these dreams in their heads uh, about what they're going to do with the money and, and how they're going to retire. And just want to dream a minute. Let, let's say you won the million dollars. What would you do with the million dollars? Uh, if you weren't getting paid for the job you do right now, would you still do that? What would it mean to you if your job was just an option? What would that mean to you? How would that make you feel? Maybe you've got a job that you love and you wouldn't want to leave that job, but what would it mean to you if it was just an option? If you had that income coming in that that million dollars would generate on a monthly basis, would you still continue to do your job? Did you know that if you won a million dollars and you invested it conservatively and never touched the original principal, the original million dollars, it would generate about $1,700 a month before taxes. Folks, we can show people how on a part-time basis they can generate the equivalent income that a million dollars would generate. You know, my goal and Brandy's goal and everybody else's goal on these calls is to help you, to give you strategies, to teach you the duplicatable system to have that option 12 months from now. And notice, folks, I'm not saying, uh, you know, tomorrow. I'm saying in the next 12 months. What we share with you on these calls can absolutely change your life if you choose for it to. But it's not going to change your life tomorrow. This isn't some crazy get rich quick, honey, we won the lottery thing. I'm just telling you that what we share with you, if you just take it and really run with it, it can change your life. Guys, I hope that in the end, at the end of 2014, you look back on this call and, and you say that this is where my life changed. I see all the hype that's out there, you know, all the programs that boast, I made $30,000 in my first 48 hours. It's just baloney, guys. Stop it already. We're professionals. We're not a sideshow. This is a profession, you know? Uh, you know, don't fall for that bullcrap. Uh, the system that Brandy and I share with you, Dr. Wallach shares, uh, Corey Gold, uh, Tom Chenault, it's a system that will work now. It'll work next week, it'll work next month, next year, the year after. So a year from now, your working will be just an option. So what I wanted to kind of go over a little bit today is I've been reading another book uh, by uh, uh, Ray Higdon. This book's called Top Earner Recruiting Secrets. And I just want to go over just a, a, one of the, the chapters on that. Uh, he talks about how talking and selling is not only hard, but it's hard to teach. It's hard to duplicate down through your organization. It's hard to teach someone how to become an amazing salesperson. The only way to learn your prospect's needs and their wants or their problems is to ask them. Too few people in this industry uh, don't ask questions. You know, they don't know what to say, what to ask people. Uh, you know, people are turned off by network marketing. Uh, actually, they're not turned off by network marketing, they're turned off by network marketers. And, and, and that's a truth. And, and we've got to raise the vibration, we've got to raise the conversation of network marketing by all becoming better recruiters and better servers. So let's all become better network marketers. A good recruiter is a good problem solver. You know, Dr. Wallach is fantastic about that. You know, he solves people's medical problems all the time. So, uh, you know, we got to become better problem solvers. The only way to become better problem solvers is to be able to ask really good questions. Uh, so what I want to start with is some questions to ask yourself. Why are you in this industry? Money's not the right answer. If you save for the money, that's not the right answer. Why are you really here? You know, that, that can't, money can't be your main reason. Money will come up uh, to those who solve problems. You know, you're going to earn the money, but the reason you're in this industry should be to help people, to solve problems, to help others. Uh, next question is if you continue your current path. You're working, your job, uh, your small business, whatever it is that you have. Will you look back and say you led a life that was fulfilling? Now, that's a powerful question. Notice I'm already teaching you the powerful questions that you want to ask your, your prospects. 
Uh, you know, is, will your life be fulfilling? Will you have helped people? You know, of course, there's people in the medical field and some, uh, some fields that uh, can answer that question positively. We get uh, some ministers in, in other areas, uh, lots of different uh, uh, jobs that can say that they think their life would be fulfilling. But for the most part, most people can't answer that question because they don't look at their life in, in the way of helping others to become a server uh, uh, the, from the servant mentality. So if you continue on your current path, Will your life inspire your children or your grandchildren? Well, that's a good question. A lot of us spend all of our time day after day just going to the job, working our, our hours and coming home and, and not really teaching our children what it, what it means to have that server uh, mentality. And another question to ask is, what's the number one way to be happy? What do you think it is? be rich, powerful, have a sexy partner. What is it? The number one way to truly be happy is to help other people and to empower others. When you know that you're making an impact in people's lives, that's when you can be happy and actually sustain it. You know, guys, I, I've been, you guys know, I've been a pharmacist for, for years now. And even though, you know, there are aspects of the pharmacy business that is fulfilling that, you know, when I actually have the time to, to uh, meet with one of my, my clients and, and educate them and, and show them that there are ways to improve their life. You know, that, that's fulfilling. But on the larger scale, I spend so much time with the minutia of the job, so much time with the paperwork and, and all the other stuff that the majority of the time on that job is not fulfilling. And that's what's attracted me to network marketing. It gives me the opportunity to help other people to... Uh, help other people uh, get healthy through Dr. Wallach's 90 for Life program. Uh, also to help other people create that extra income that they need. You know, guys, some people only need four or five hundred dollars extra month and that'll change their life. Uh, other people are looking for that million dollar investment, that, uh, that seventeen hundred dollar a month uh, income, and, and that would greatly change their life. Uh, personally, I, I want to replace my pharmacist income. Uh, that, that's the goal that I have. I want to make a difference in my grandchildren's lives to, to set up their college funds, to, to have that all in place. Uh, I, I want my, my children to see what I'm doing and, and how happy that this makes me and, and how they can also in some way uh, take on a servant mentality in, in their life. So, so guys, that, that's what this business is all about. And I'm going to kind of keep the call short at that point. Uh, there, there's some more stuff I want to concentrate uh, on some future calls. Uh, I want to talk about some questions, that uh, uh, some powerful questions. Uh, I've been writing down some uh, questions that I learned from all the different uh, books that I've read over time, questions to ask the, uh, your, your prospects. And I'm going to call, come, come to another call in, in the next few days, and we'll go over that. But guys, my goal now, uh, I don't know how many of you know it, but I finally, after two years of unemployment, finally landed another position in pharmacy. I've landed a position where I will be able to do network marketing still on a full-time basis. Uh, so it's got me out from behind the counter, out from uh, uh, all that type of stuff, and uh, I'm looking so forward to it. Uh, the job starts this uh, Wednesday on a full-time basis. Uh, but it's going to give me the opportunity to be home every evening. I'm going to start having those meetings. Brandy and I talked about this the other day, how important the home-based meetings are, how important it is to uh, uh, get that on your schedule and to commit to once-a-week meetings. Uh, you know, she's... Uh, She's took, she took a step back from what she's been doing and traveling all over the place. You know, that absolutely has, uh, has helped her and has got her uh, career uh, with, with the longevity finally off to the point where uh, the income is good and she doesn't have to worry about that anymore. But she knows to take her business to that next level, she's got to look back at what all the other leaders in the company have done. They've gotten their business off to the next level. And they didn't travel all around the country with Dr. Wallach. You know, that, that, that's not how they built their business, their sustained business, their large business. They all got down belly to belly, had the, the weekly meetings and the home meetings and, and the core roots of network marketing. And she's getting back to that. 
Uh, she's going to start doing that uh, once she gets herself set up down in Valdosta. Uh, that's something I'm going to do now with the uh, now that I have a schedule, a regular schedule uh, that I can go by and a schedule where I'm off every evening and have the time to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, 2014 is going to be an absolutely fantastic year. Uh, I've got Dr. Wallach booked in March uh, here in Louisville. We're, it's on a Saturday. It's going to be a super Saturday. I'm still working on uh, uh, getting some of the upline to commit to coming down here and doing training and all that. So as I get more information on that, I will post that information up. But guys, 2014 is going to be a fantastic year. 2013 by no means has, has not been fantastic. Uh, you know, I've worked really hard this year, got my income up to the point where uh, longevity is uh, paying for itself. Uh, I've got a nice little income extra on the side for that that I'm going to reinvest into the business so I can take the business up to that next level. So I'm looking forward to the new year. I'm looking forward to my new life and, and the opportunity to serve you guys. I want to do more of these trainings. So, you know, guys, uh, if you have any questions or anything, you know how to reach me. Uh, my cell phone is 502-212-2929. That's 502-212-2929. Uh, for the most part, I'll be available probably after 4 o'clock every day. Uh, I will be on these calls quite often now. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to make mo majority of these calls for the future. And I'm going to be updating my training website, so go to that, bestnetfund.com. Uh, take a look at the stuff on there. And guys, let's just, let's just commit now. We've got just a few weeks before the end of the year. Let's commit now to getting our 2014 off to a big start. Uh, let's develop a 90-day game plan so that 90 days from January 1st, you will be at the position that you desire in longevity. I mean, it's possible. It's very possible. Uh, you know, I've, I've listened to so many leaders in the industry, not just from longevity, but in other companies as well. And they all say, when you commit to a 90-day 90, a 90 game plan, your life is changed and everything you do for the rest of your career you can look back on that 90 days so let's start looking at our goals for the new year let's start making our plans for the new year let's start committing to making calls you know if you talk to 20 people a day I'm not saying give a business presentation talk to 20 people a day uh, find out what some of those people's needs are and their desires are get you know approach the subject uh, if you commit to the 20 people a day it, at all the different stages of, of your, your uh, different stages of, of the recruiting process, uh, as long as you talk to 20 people a day, your life will change at the end of that 90 days. Your, your organization, your business, everything will change at the end of that 90 days. So guys, let, let's take these next few months, uh, next few weeks. Uh, we're going to all be out there with our family and our friends. Let's listen to what they have to say. Let's not pitch them. You know, don't go to your Christmas parties and pitch people. Just listen. Find out what their needs are. Find out what their desires are. Uh, in, in a future call, we're going to go over some questions that you can ask these people when you get back in touch with them. Don't do it at these, at these family functions. Just listen. Make note of, of things that they talk about. You know, their jobs, uh, their health, uh, the health of family that, that, that they're concerned about. You know, just listen to these these things, make note of it, and then plan within a couple days of the uh, family gathering to get back in touch with these people and bring up the subject at that point. And, and we're going to talk about how to do that. And again, we're going to go over some questions to ask people. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this call this morning. It's not a, a very long call, but uh, anybody have any